Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about vasectomies. Chances are you've heard about what a vasectomy is. Vasectomies are a simple, safe, and effective form of permanent male birth control. Once it is performed, males do not have to worry about using any other method of contraception to prevent pregnancies. However, vasectomies do not prevent STIs or STDs, so use of a condom is strongly, strongly recommended. Vasectomies are highly effective in preventing pregnancy with a success rate of over 99%. This means that still less than 1% of men have the procedure will be able to fertilize an egg to impregnate a woman. Vasectomies can be reversed. Overall, this is a very strong option to pick for couples who want to have a safe sex life and to take control of their reproductive health. They are a safe and simple 10 to 20 minute procedure that can be completed in a clinic. Dude, Chad, it's been a long time. What's up? Why did you waddle like that? Oh, hey, Brad. I'm all good. I just got back from the doctor's. I had a vasectomy done. Oh, uh, but vasectomy? What's up? Oh, dude, it's a super simple procedure that prevents pregnancy. Dude, no way. What do they do? Well, the doctors apply local or general anesthesia to the area on my scrotum where the surgery takes place. The doctors then feel around my scrotum to find the vas deferens tube. That's the tube that brings the sperm to my semen. It brings it to the surface. With a small round clip, he immobilizes the tube. He then makes a small incision in the scrotum a couple millimeters wide, just the right size to bring out the vas deferens tube from the scrotum. An incision on each side of the tube is made after a heated metal instrument is used to seal up the cuts on each side of the tube. A clip is then placed back on the vas deferens tube going towards the abdomen. The tube is then fully cut, leaving the two sides of the tube unable to touch. The split tube is placed back into the scrotum and is sewn up. Dude, and you're just feeling okay after three days? Yeah, there's minimal chance of complications and you heal very quickly. Sperm is conducted and stored in the vas deferens, a long tube that curves around the bladder and connects the epididymis to the ejaculatory ducts. Sperm leads to the urethra, a tube from the bladder and the ejaculatory ducts to the tip of the penis. Sperm leaves the male during ejaculation in a seminal fluid called semen. This controls pH, nutrient, and hormone levels in the environment of the ejaculate. The seminal vesicles add nutrients and fluid to the semen. The prostate adds basic fluid and the cowper's gland add viscous fluid to the semen. This semen is carrying approximately 400 million sperm cells that can live in a female genital tract for 48 hours. The sperm, once deposited into the female, travels to the female gamete to fertilize the egg. However, the tying off the vas deferens prevents sperm from being released during ejaculation. The male will still produce sperm, but rather than leaving the body and causing the possibility of pregnancy, it will die. It will be absorbed by the body and will not be present in his ejaculate. Vasectomies do not affect the male's hormones. All the male reproductive organs work exactly the same. The only difference is that the sperm will not be released through the urethra and up to the ejaculatory ducts to the tip of the penis. Their homeostasis can be difficult to maintain if complications occur. But this is very unlikely with proper post-operative care. Some side effects happen but are more common in older patients. These side effects include infections, hematomas, granulomas, and vasectomy failures will lead to pregnancy. Oh man, I wish I was 18 and I could get a vasectomy. I really don't want kids in my life. Oh, and it's so inaccessible. 3K dollars? I can never afford that. Vasectomies can be reversed with a success rate of 90 to 95%. However, they are typically more complex and expensive than the original vasectomy. After vasectomy reversal, pregnancy rates are 30 to 90%, meaning that it might be difficult for men to impregnate women after the reversal. It often takes four to 12 months to be able to impregnate someone. Education on male contraceptives should be just as common as female contraceptives are. The pill and IUDs are so common, it can feel societally expected for the female to be on birth control, whereas males do not face the same pressure to be responsible for preventing pregnancy. Vasectomies are known as the next best way to prevent pregnancies after abstinence. Male sterilization is a much more simple and accessible procedure in comparison to female sterilization. 
Females often face obstacles with getting approval for getting their tubes tied. Some doctors require age over 40, already having a few kids, and even a husband's approval. Comparing to female sterilization, vasectomies are cheaper, simpler, and have less complications, and they are less physically traumatic. However, in one year, 700,000 women get their tubes tied, whereas only 500,000 men get vasectomies. This is due to the stigma and fear of emasculation. Considering the economic and ethical factors that arise with the decision-making of vasectomies, I pose you a question. Should vasectomies be open to males under the age of 18? And if so, how can they be made more accessible and affordable? Accompanying this, how can we dismantle the stigma surrounding male birth control to ease the pressure off of women to making responsible decisions into preventing unwanted pregnancies?